Hey, Victory Church on the Rock. Welcome to another uh, devotion. We're so excited you're joining us today. If you don't know who we are, my name is Dustin. I'm the lead pastor here at Victory Church on the Rock. And right beside me is my guy, Harold Bannon. We're just here to share a little devotion with you, some scripture, and talk a little bit about it. So, Harold, take it away. Hello, everybody. My name's Harold, and I'm reading from Psalm 86, starting at verse 8. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. For, the, for, <clears throat> for, for great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered me, de delivered my soul from the death of soul. And when I read that, I look at my own past history. He delivered me from the pit of pain. Wow. The pit of not feeling wanted, not feeling loved. Okay? And to, to me, that was so important. I needed to find something that would be able to accept me for who I am and help me walk through my life each day. It's good. And today, here I am following the Lord, believing the Lord, and He can do the same thing for you. Amen. Yeah, and I love the, the kind of the last part of that verse. It says, "Is steadfast love for us. And I think even talking about coming out of you know the pits of Sheol, we're talking about coming out of pain. And I think for a lot of us this past 480 days, it's felt like we're coming out of just a pit now because we're, we're restriction-free right now, which is so amazing. and It's so exciting. But at the same time, the past year has been challenging. And it's so beautiful when we can step out of this place and we can be like, God, thank you for your steadfast love that you have for us. And just Amen pursuing that. that love, pursuing what God has for you and what God has for me is so important. I think this summer, let's do that. Let's pursue Jesus more than we ever have. Let's spend more time in the Bible. Let's spend more time praying. Let's spend more time just even at church, spending time with each other, connecting with each other and spending time with Jesus. So yes. that's what we have for you today. Let's just remember God's steadfast love that he has for us. We also want to invite you out this Sunday, 10 a.m., Victory Church on the Rock, in person or online. Come out, invite somebody with you. It's going to be an amazing Sunday.